Welcome to our lecture online. Here we're starting a new chapter on what we call hypothesis testing. So what is hypothesis testing? Well, we want to know something more about a population, but we don't have enough resources to study the entire population, so we want to take a sample of the population. And the information in that sample is that sufficient to draw conclusions about the population. And so that's essentially the crux of hypothesis testing. Hypothesis will make some initial assumption about the population, and then using the information from our sample, can we conclude that that assumption is, is correct? And of course, that depends upon how large a sample we take, and so we're going to need to learn how to determine if the sample we took has sufficient amount of information to be able to conclude that our initial hypothesis was correct. Now, in order to be able to understand what we're doing here is we need to understand the word hypothesis or hypothesis testing. What is a hypothesis? So I looked up some definitions and here you could say that it's a supposition or a proposed explanation made on the basis of limited evidence. So we don't have a lot of evidence, a lot of information. We draw some sort of supposition some sort of assumption, a proposed explanation based on that limited amount of evidence. It is a starting point for further investigation. Then, of course, we do more work to try and see if that supposition, that hypothesis, is actually correct. Another definition is a hypothesis is an assumption, an idea that is proposed for the sake of argument. We need to start somewhere, and we're going to make an assumption. We're going to make an initial statement that may or may not be correct so that we can test it to see if it might be true. So just because we said it doesn't make it true and I hear that a lot these days a lot of people out there making assumptions as if they're actually correct. No, no. They're just starting points a good start, a good place to start an argument, and an argument in the sense of a discussion because now we're going to gather more information, do some more calculations to see if that initial assumption, that initial hypothesis was actually correct. Another definition is a hypothesis is an assumption that is based on some evidence. It is the initial point of an investigation. So again, it's just an assumption. It's based on some evidence, some pieces of information. They're very limited, and it's the initial point of an investigation. Now we're going to investigate further to see if that assumption may be correct. And finally, it's an educated guess. If you ever want to know what an educated guess is, it's a hypothesis. We just threw something out there, and usually it's not just a wild guess, as we would call it. It's an educated guess. It's based on some limited information that might point us into a certain direction. So we're going to make some initial assumption, an initial educated guess, and then see if that educated guess is correct based upon the parameters of that initial sample. Is it enough information? Is the sample large enough? Does the sample deviate too much from what would expect to deviate whether or not so we can decide whether or not that initial assumption was correct or not. So that's what it's all about. Hypothesis testing starts with the concept of what a hypothesis is and this is where it starts.